All right, we are heading in the right direction, but this morning was very active and rather, I like to say stormy, but there weren't really many thunderstorms. It was just some very strong rain showers coming through with a lot of gusty winds, and that's what we've been dealing with. We did get enough sunlight to come through to push us to 84 after starting at 72. Our rain at the airport since midnight, 0.76. Our wind gust today hit 43 here in the triad, 53 in Charlotte, 53 in Jefferson, but look at Hillsville. They had a 63 mile per hour gust. Right now, the gust has settled down all across the Piedmont. Temperatures again bounced up as a warm day outside with low to mid 80s. Radar now is getting real quiet. The green you see is for river flood warnings, no rain around them. And then you see this one storm that we've been watching closely. The warnings are only in Virginia now, not in Caswell County any longer. That was a very iffy storm for rotation. And again, there, even the rotation where we have a warning is still very, very little. As, uh, Alex and I were just checking rotations only about 15, 20 miles per hour. We get that all the time. As we look at the three day rainfall totals, you can see everybody's had a lot of rain, but we've got generally in the triad between one and four inches for most, but there's a few spots that had more like right here on the southwest side of Greensboro and not too far from Jamestown, over seven inches. Another area not too far from Graham has had a tremendous amount of rain. In the southern parts of the Piedmont, down around Seagrove, there was more rain, a little bit less west of Ashboro. And then farther to the west, the mountains really got hammered with about a foot and a half of rain from near Beach Mountain all the way back down toward Marion. And in the foothills, we had about a half foot and up in the Allegheny County, over 13 inches. And you can see what's happening now with the storm. The winds are more focused toward Kentucky and we can see that's where the storm center is now 35 with gusts to 45 miles per hour. It's going to drift off to the west a little while then it'll slow down and start drifting back to the east and falling apart but the leftover moisture will start coming back eastbound but it won't be much to it. As we go through the night tonight a pretty quiet night's coming up for us and a really nice Saturday is coming up for all of central North Carolina. Back to our west is where all that moisture is from leftovers from uh, Helene and you can see a little moisture tries to crawl back to the east. Every now and then you'll see a few showers. So Sunday we have a chance and here's the weather map showing you things playing out. This front's going to start falling apart. That little low is just going to keep drifting and taking some moisture with it, but there won't be much to it. So overall a good weekend. Our beaches are looking great. 83 degrees tomorrow, 84 degrees on Sunday. Small chance for a shower then. Our mountains will look at 64 tomorrow and then a chance for showers and storms comes back up again on Sunday. In the Piedmont, our forecast this evening is partly cloudy and 72 degrees at, nine, at 8 o'clock. Overnight, heading down to 62 degrees, partly cloudy back to clear. Then tomorrow, we'll start out sunny. We'll end up partly cloudy, the high temperature at 80. Here is your extended forecast. That little chance for a shower or thunderstorm Sunday is 35% down to 20% Monday. And really, next week is looking incredibly nice. We've got temperatures going from the upper 70s back to the low to mid 70s. And lows, starting with Wednesday night, start heading to the low 50s. And some of you in the cooler rural areas will start recording some 40s at night.